All right, Dan. Massive night. Massive win. Talk us through it. Um, just so, so happy right now. I mean, the relief in that first half, such a physical battle to come out on top. And then start of the second half was pretty tough. We, our discipline I was the only thing letting us in. And then we finally were patient, patient, let our game play. They weren't really troubling us too much. And finally got that sort of win in the end and managed to see it out. So, so much to happy, be happy with in that game, really. What was the difference between the two sides tonight? I think sort of the level of threat we had. I mean, our driving ball was something they couldn't really deal with, and we knew we had that. And then when, when they had the ball, I, they, we knew that they didn't have much threat, and that if we carried on being patient, we were going to get the ball and we were going to keep being th uh, threatening. They were really tight at points. There was a one point gap, there was a two point gap. What was being said on the pitch to keep you going and keep that defence just absolutely solid? Just really, really small focuses for the next sort of few minutes about we know it's our fault, it's not them pressuring us, it's us. And so we know that we can get them, get the ball in their half and we can pressure them. Absolutely. And you got you on the board yourself. It was a great move. Talk us through that one with Hugo. I mean, Hugo carried really, really well today in those sort of tight areas and he managed to get on the blind side of a driving wall uh, and then I just managed to find some space and fall over the line at the end, which was pretty nice. Was that the prize for it? Uh, no, that happened in the first half. I think I got an elbow in one of the rucks down there, but it certainly certainly looks good and it helps me speak. <laughs> I mean, you had some brilliant moves in there. That's yourself. I mean, it's so hard to be a man of the match, really, today. Everybody just seems to be on point. What was, the, what was said in the change room to get you guys motivated for this? Um, just about sort of going to the Hurt Locker today. It's just a, such a personal battle today between us and them. We know what they're going to bring. We wanted to do the double on them. We wanted to put everything else aside, put the league aside and just have it us v them on this patch with this crowd and just relishing it. And we did. Yeah, that crowd, with, with hearing it numbered more than 2,000 tonight, how much did that help Park tonight? It's just in those breaks of play, when you can hear them, you can hear Park, you can hear the support, it just jeers you up, it's that extra motivation, and it's, it's so good to play in front of us, so it, it, it revs you up, it gets you going, any little thing, and it's just so good. Absolutely, and now it means you're, well, I mean, you talked about not taking the league out of the equation, but going into it now, it's a six-point gap, I believe, now, between the two, so how does this help you for the last five games of the season? Yeah, well, I mean, I think KP said at the end there, the last time we beat them or theirs they lost four games in a row and obviously we're not expecting that but obviously we have to be prepared that they could slip up we need to keep the pressure on and I think with the games that we've got left we can easily do that and the games they have left is certainly on the cards title race is back on could say that could say that Dan thank you so much